Residents of several villages located in regions 5 and 6 on Saturday welcomed the government's Guyana Online Academy of Learning Gold Scholarships Initiative. Led by Minister of Human Services and Social Security, the Honorable Dr. Vindya Prasad, teams from Goal and the Ministry of Education visited No. 76 Village, Skeldon, Yakusari, Quarantine and Bath Settlement, West Berbice, to assist the residents in the application process for the scholarships. Minister Prasad urged the residents to seize the opportunities that are being provided by the government. Sometimes opportunities are there, we don't see them. Sometimes we see them, we don't seize them. And sometimes we don't seize them and we don't use them. So we miss them. So now here are opportunities right here for you. Hold them, hold on tight and make the best of it. Dr. Prasad said the program caters for every Guyanese since persons who have not completed secondary school can apply. Individuals without secondary education can apply to pursue the bachelor's preparatory program, a specially designed six-month course. Once successful, the candidate becomes eligible to pursue a scholarship at the bachelor's degree level. The Minister of Human Services and the Social Security, the Honorable Dr. Vindia Prasad, also visited the Skeldon Market and engaged the persons here on the Guyana Online Academy of Learning Scholarships and also the WIND program of her ministry. I believe it's um, a great initiative. I've been waiting on this opportunity for quite some time. Over at the Princetown Shiva Shakti Mandir No. 76 Village Quarantine Burbis, individuals who registered for the government scholarships praised the administration for opening the initiative to all Guyanese. People with enough money and so forth, the financial support, they get the chances. But what about other people out there that are not supportive? A lot of people don't be supportive, to us, but we get the chance here. I think it's a great idea and a great opportunity, and we do appreciate it. I feel really happy, excited, because with this scholarship, a lot of people could manage to have a job. Minister Prasad also engaged the residents and encouraged them to take advantage of the ministry's flagship Women's Innovation and Investment Network WIN program. The program, which caters to women and the girls, offers a certification in 20 courses in areas of information and the communication technology, decor and the design, garment construction, professional care, beauty and wellness, and the hospitality and administration. I'm a big believer that once you give people an opportunity, be it education or be it somewhere where they can move from a state of dependence to a state of independence, you have taught a person to not be always waiting for a handout. You're teaching them to help themselves. Residents of Bath Settlement praised the The Win Initiative as they noted, it will go a long way in empowering women and the girls. I, I think it's a great opportunity, especially for this community, because a lot of women are unemployed and not doing anything. Most of them are at home, not doing anything and stuff. So I think it's a great opportunity and a lot of women will benefit from this. I think this is a very, very good opportunity to help us women who is at home doing nothing, that it could help us to gain experience and achieve what we want. It's a good initiative, especially for women like me, who came out of a failed relationship. And is a single mom, so it's a stepping stone for me to get back on my feet. And it's a good initiative because I, I know there are other people out there like me who will accept this and better themselves. For the WIN initiative, Classes will be done online or in classrooms with no more than 30 persons in attendance. During the course, the women and the girls will also be educated on their rights and the freedoms as outlined in the Constitution.